Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Wednesday Live. And uh, today, I wanted to talk about uh, the latest uh, YouTube hack that went on. Um, beginning of this month, uh, the YouTube channel Linus Tech Tips was hacked. And um, the way that the hacker got in is becoming a recurring theme um, what was um, who um, whoever the cell phone for provider is for the for Linus on Linus Tech Tips? This hacker either uh, called or actually went to a um, one of the um, cell phone carrier locations and uh, through social engineering was able to talk uh, whoever they spoke with into uh, giving them a new SIM card with Linus's phone number. So essentially, uh, after he got the SIM card and put it in another phone, he had Linus's phone. And that's how he was able to hack into the YouTube channel and, and the Google account. And this is, is becoming a... Uh, uh, a recurring pattern. Uh, that's the same thing that happened to uh, Boogie 2988. Um, and um, there are some ways to get around this. Even though you got the two step verification enabled on your Google account, if somebody uh, uses social engineering to, to get access to your cell phone, that's not going to help you because then they have uh, access to your uh, text so they can enter that in. Now, the one thing is if you have your uh, main Google account connected to your cell phone, it's usually set to where you don't have to enter your passwords. You can just go to your account and it automatically brings it up. You need to know that you'll have to enter the password each time. And if you can't do that, don't put your main Google account on your cell phone, uh, especially the one that has your, your YouTube channel on it, because if they get uh, into your uh, cell phone and you have it set to automatically log you in when you press the icon, then they're going to have access to your account. But um, there's another thing you can do uh, uh, with your cell pro phone provider. Either um, log into their website um, and uh, go to your account and set up a verification message and set it to where um, you have to have this verification code. Even if you go into a retail store for service, uh, when uh, it comes up, when they pull up your account, it's going to ask them to ask you for your verification um, number so that uh, they know that it's actually you. And one thing I would suggest for, these, uh, for the cell phone providers, make uh, it available where you can upload a um, picture of yourself onto your account so that when they pull up your account they can actually see your picture so if you're going into a retail store and you say I'm so and so when they pull up the account you'll have your picture on there so that they can actually tell that it's you now uh, if you're doing this by phone I would manage that and maybe they could uh, get a, uh, a Google Hangout or uh, a um, live Facebook uh, broadcast so that they could actually see who they're talking to. That's something different. And another thing, um, it's been suggested that you get a second cell phone uh, to get your verification for the two-step verification. But a lot of people can't afford a, a second cell phone 
cost, especially when it's only going to be used for verification. I, I mean, if you did get a second phone, you wouldn't give this out to anybody. It'd just be for the verification only. You wouldn't make calls, receive calls with this phone. But that can get cost. That's another month to month charge. And um, you um, may not want to do that. But there is an alternative to that. Um, you can use um, Google Voice to get uh, internet phone number. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit how to do that. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to take you to uh, a website I have set up. Let's see here. Share screen. And I'm going to do this one. And we're going to share. And now, this is a Google Voice account that I have uh, set up for this. When you first go to Google Voice, it's going to ask you to uh, accept the terms of service. And then it's going to come to this uh, set up your Google Voice number. Now you can um, say I want a new number or you can say I want to use my mobile phone. Don't use your mobile phone. You want a Google Voice number for this. So you would pick uh, I want a Google a new number. And when you click on that, it's going to um, as what type of phone you're going to you have to link it to a phone before you can get a number now I would recommend that you use your home telephone number but if you don't have a home telephone number what you can do is you can get a Skype phone number and getting a Skype phone number is a charge of thirty dollars a year so it's not a monthly charge it's just once a year uh, thirty dollars so you can get you a Skype number and you enter it in there and when you enter that in the next thing uh, it's gonna do is it's gonna ask you what area code that you want um, I've already got my um, uh, Skype number connected to another Google line so I can't do that here I think you can use the same number up to three times to get a uh, three different Google numbers if you have three different accounts, but uh, I already have my Skype link to one, so I'm not going to do that. But, but anyway, when you enter your home phone or your Skype number, you just hit continue, and then it'll ask you what area code you want your um, new uh, Google Voice number to be. And you might have to pick a few different area codes uh, this has been uh, available for a while so a lot of the area codes are taken up so you may not get the area code that's uh, in your state but you'll only be using this number to get verification messages anyway so it won't matter um, now again if you um, you want to have a uh, Google Voice or uh, Skype number. You don't want to use your cell phone because, again, if somebody got access to your cell phone, uh, they'd have your Google Voice account as well. So you want you want to make this either your home phone or your um, or a Skype number or something of that nature. Uh, and another alternative to this is not use the two-step verification at all. If you look at um, my CQT videos, CQT um, episode 30, it talks about the two-step verification. And in that video, it shows you how you can download uh, one-use passcodes. So if you're on a uh, computer that's not, uh, that you would normally access your account with, you can uh, enter that uh one-time passcode into the uh, password field and get access that way and you can uh, get 10 codes at a time and you can print those out carry them in your wallet so you won't even need a cell phone um, you just enter that one-time use code 
in there and you like I said you got 10 codes and after you use those 10 up you can generate 10 more and uh, I show you how to do that um, in the video so take a look at that video and it will give you information about that um, and again you should uh, change your password regularly and don't use a common password um, look at my CQT videos there's an episode on uh, different password generators that you can use and password checkers to check the uh, security of a password so um, you can take a look at that and that's really the best way to prevent this uh, kind of hacking because if you have a common password uh, like that has a dictionary word in it those are easy to crack they don't they don't take any time at all to crack those but if you have a password that has random upper and lowercase letters random numbers and random symbols uh, that takes a great deal of time to crack and I would suggest a password that's at least 12 characters long if not more and um, change those every month and that's really the, the best way to prevent hacking on an account because if you keep the same password all the time I mean some people have have had the same password for years never changed it and that gives a hacker ample time to try and crack your password to get into your account so uh, change your password regularly if not once a month at least three times or every three months don't use the same password for years and years or and and think that's secure because it's not the more time that password's been in use the more time a hacker has to crack it so that's what I have um, for um, on on the subject let's go back here and um, I've uh, been looking at a few things uh, yesterday I did a daily vlog with some um, trending topics you can take a look at that and uh, really I'm just kinda hanging out today let's see do we have anybody in the chat nobody in the chat right now but hopefully uh, I'll have some people drop by sooner or later uh, and look Rosa came to visit this is Rosa she's a little chihuahua everybody's seen Rosa before but um, she uh, she wanted to see what's going on she don't get on camera very much as you can see her eyes are kind of cloudy so she's almost blind and she's deaf she can't hear a thing I say but she loves her daddy and daddy loves her oh. she's got a little whiny going on there I don't know why she's whining today um, it's uh, storming outside so you might hear my other dog here Betty she might be barking here from time to time because she has no trouble hearing she hears perfectly well but uh, Rosa she doesn't hear and she's got cloudy eyes so she doesn't see real well so we have to take care of her and uh, we do she's a good girl she she sleeps a lot now she's 14 years old so she's had a, a pretty good life she thinks she's the boss well she is the boss she bosses everybody around she lets me know when her water bowls empty and when her food bowls empty she makes me go fill it up barks at me she still got that good sense of smell so she can't get around um, she's not totally blind her eyes are got cataracts so she's cloudy but she can see the only time she really has trouble is 
when it's pitch dark when we turn out all the lights but then we keep her with us so she doesn't have to go too far to get her food and her water and she's right with us so we take good care Rosa Rosa look everybody's watching you well, I don't have any viewers right now but it, this will be recorded so they'll have a chance to come by and and watch your face Mwah. Rosa girl Rosa girl why don't you go over with Betty now or do you still want to be on camera look people looking at you yeah 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 good girl love your kisses I love my roses kisses yes I do oh what else is going on well I've just been uh, hanging out uh, doing my daily vlog um, watching some YouTube stuff uh, a lot of people's got some good YouTube on there um, if you haven't seen Husham members channel lately I will put a link to his channel in the description uh, so that you can uh, see that he's got some um, Cody videos um, he does a lot of Cody stuff uh, and he's got um, um, coming up on 90,000 subscribers uh, so you can check that and uh, Linus Tech Tips that I was telling you about they've got almost 3 million subscribers so I'll put a link to to their um, website in the description so that you can take a look at their channel uh, he does he does a lot of good stuff on uh, tech issues for computers and things of that nature so check his site out uh, and um, if you haven't subscribed to my website yet please do uh, trying to to get my channel going I, I don't have many subscribers so I need all the help I can get and uh, if you have uh, suggestions for topics uh, or questions that you might have, um, computer related or just anything, you know, I'll I'll talk just about anything on the live shows or or uh, in a hangout. Oh, Rosa Yanni, are you tired? You slept all night. Tired girl. What's up with that? Big yawn. Yawn, you know, yawns are contagious. What? You need a drink? You want to get down so you can go get you a drink? Is all this being on camera making you thirsty? Thirsty girl. Mm, yeah. Kiss daddy. All right. I'm going to put you down. You can come back up later if you want but you need to go get you something to drink I think oh she's a good girl one of these days I'll get Betty on camera but Betty's kind of big so it's kind of hard to put Betty in my lap but Betty is a uh, mix between a um, a pug and a cocker spaniel and Betty's all black, but she's got kind of like a pug face, but um, cocker spaniel ears. So, but she's short haired. She's not cocker spaniel. Not got cocker spaniel hair. She's got the hair of a of a pug, a short. But um, I'll take a picture of her sometime and and put that up on on uh, my website, or maybe just make a video of Betty. Uh, had her since she was born. Um, she, um, my, uh, I have a cocker spaniel, copper, and my son's uh, pug was her mama. So they, they got together one day and decided they were going to make a litter of puppies. So that's what happened. That's how I got Betty, and I've I've got another, uh, another one called Y E because. He's all white. He's got the pug face and the cocker spaniel ears, but his fur's white. And he's got a kind of a mix between a um, cocker spaniel and um, pug fur. 
his is his is longer and and kind of a uh, in between. I'll have to take some pictures so everybody can see those. Oh, uh, but anyway, I'm just rambling on here. I ramble all the time, don't I? Well, let's see what trouble we can get into. I'm going to look uh, for some stuff here that we can take a look at. Um, let me um, let me share my screen again. I've got the, the Linus Tech Tips website up, and I will get... Let me share my screen again one more time. And this is um, Linus Tech Tips. Um, and as you can see there, he's got uh, 2,855,657 subscribers. And um, as you can see, I haven't subscribed yet, but I, I do watch his channel. I should subscribe. I'll tell you what. We'll just go ahead and do that now. We'll subscribe because I, I like his videos. Um, another thing, um, so channel, it's just subscribe. If you want to be notified when uh, your channel that you're subscribing to uploads a new video, yeah, you have to make another step here. And I did this in one of my CQT videos, but I'll show you here again. I just go to the little gear wheel here and click on that. And then um, where it says, uh, send me all notifications for this channel. Uh, and then down below it says how you're notified mobile and email. So I, I uh, get both. You just click, uh, put a check mark in the box. And then um, the way I have mine set up is... I get um, uh, not text messages, but notifications on my cell phone. And also I get an email of when they post a new video. So you just click Save. And there, I'm all set up. I'm subscribed to the Linus Tech Tips channel now. And I will be notified by um, notifications on my phone and by email when they upload a new video. Or when they do a live show, if they—I don't know if he ever does a live show. He may, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's look at some trending topics. I—I uh, I did the, some of those yesterday, but um, we can look at a few today. Let's see what what's going on today for today's trends and um, forgive me but when I do a live show like this my computer is kind of slow so it takes a little bit for the page to load but um, that's the price I pay for a uh, slow internet and a uh, computer with only four gigs of RAM I should upgrade this to eight gigs but uh, I'll do that someday. I need. I'm gonna get my other computer fixed. My multimedia com laptop. Um, it's a uh, 17 inch, and it uh, play can play Blu-ray discs, and and uh, it's fast enough to play my online games. So, but uh, that uh, the um, motherboard went out on that, so I have to get that replaced here hopefully pretty soon and I'll be able to use that again I had uh, that hooked up as a, um, a triple boot system I had uh, Windows 7 uh, Ubuntu operating system and Windows 10 installed on that before the uh, motherboard decided it was going to go belly up and uh, I used that that was my main computer so I got this one, and now, right now, this one's my main computer. Let's see, it's still loading. So let's see if we can scroll down. Not yet. 
page is still loading up, but um, uh, we have some um, top features there. The Republican Convention. And then the Republican vice presidential nomination. And then the Democratic vice presidential nomination. And stories trending now. The top story here. Donald Trump. Uh, Tiffany Trump. Uh, number two. Manchester City. Uh, and then uh, three is Southwest Airlines. Uh, what's going on with Southwest Airlines? Let's take a look at that. Uh, see if we can't get... See what's going on there. Ay, Chihuahua. My little Chihuahua. Where'd she go? I don't know. Oh, oh. She's looking for her mommy. Her mommy went and left. Uh, Cindy went down to our son's house for a little while. Because she doesn't like to be on camera. So um, on the days I do my live show here, Wednesday Live, she goes down and visits her son. Southwest Airline Computer. And again, it takes a little time to load. So we'll just... Uh, Waiting to see. Ah, July 20th at 10 a.m. The trend went up. It was kind of flat. Uh, and then it jumped up there after 10 a.m. So let's see if we can see what's, what's taking place. Uh, Ah, uh, the number one thing, Southwest computer problem. Number two, Southwest grounded. Southwest Airlines computers down. Computer down. Okay. So evidently, Southwest has been grounded by a computer problem. Um, let's see. We can get the article to come up. And again, takes time to load. Loading, loading, loading. And I hope everybody's been having a good week. Uh, I had to work the weekend. You, if you've seen my daily vlogs you saw my weekend stuff that's that they're short because I really can't tell you anything about what I do during the day um, I make my videos when I'm on the lunch break work 16 hours on Saturday and 16 hours on Sunday so I don't get a lot of time to do videos but uh, I, I do try and, and do my vlog every day and so far I've done a vlog every day um, I started back in August when I did the um, uh, savvy sexy social vlog every day in April and I did those and um, I just kept continuing it after the April uh, Veda and um, the August Veda should be coming up here pretty quickly uh, there should be a, a notice up on the Savvy Sexy Social website if you've never been to the Savvy Sexy Social website this is, uh, is uh, put up by, by a person her name is uh, Amy Schmidhauer uh, and she does uh, uh, videos of, about social media and and how to get your message across uh, uh, public relations uh, things and you should really check out her website I'll put a link in the description to her site as well um, her website and her um, YouTube page and check that out she's got some really interesting stuff that uh, I watch I've been subscribed to her for a long time 
Um, here are some related searches to the Southwest Airlines uh, here. So and uh, Southwest Airlines search terms. So that's what's uh, trending now. Let's see if we can click on this, see what comes up. Let's do a um, Google search for Southwest Airlines computer problems. I'm going to close this and open a new browser. See what kind of um, articles we can bring up. Oh. All right. Let's give a give it a search. Paste that in. Let's see what we get. Oh, loading, loading, loading. Seems like we're always loading. Let's take the quotes out of that and just do a regular, regular search, I think. Common searches. All right. Southwest Airlines reporting Computer issues grounding and delaying flights nationwide. Let's take a look at that one. That's NBC4.com. I'm going to open that up in a new browser window. And again, it's going to take time to load. So while that's loading, we can... Uh, Kind of wait here. And there we go. Something's coming up. <clears throat> oh, that's Rosa. She's barking. And there you see the new. Okay, Southwest Airlines flights were briefly grounded Wednesday afternoon due to a, oops, I scrolled up there a little bit, let's see if we can scroll back. Uh, come on. Yeah, see, my computer is running slowly because I've got things open. Come here, Rosa. She can't hear me. Uh, and she's going to bark now. There's nobody out there, Rosa. Mommy will be back later. Well, doesn't look like my... Oh, there it goes. Finally. Come here, Rosa. I might have to go grab her because she's going to bark. Now, well, let's see if I can scroll that back down for a minute. Uh, well, it's not going to cooperate, but i tell you what I'll do. I'll put a link, this link in the description of the show when it comes up for processing. 
we will uh, it'll be in there so you can read the article uh, so uh, that will be available because I've got so many windows open here now that uh, the uh, systems bogging down so let's just close this close this And I tell you what, let's. Uh, uh, I'll be back in just a second. I gotta grab my puppy Rosa because she's missing her mommy and she's barking. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I had to retrieve Rosa. She was barking because Cindy left, and now Rosa's looking for her. So she is upset. She's upset, yes. Here. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, and we can go back to the... Live. Okay, let's go back here. Here we are back again. And as you can see, I have little Rosa in my arms because, oops, sneezy, because she's missing mommy. She wants mommy back. Oh, well. But that's one of the trending issues today. Uh, Southwest Airlines. Uh, let me see if I can find something else. Then um, more about Donald Trump. We don't really. I um, I don't like Donald Trump. You know, when you go for uh, to vote in election, they always make you pick a a party. Democrat, Republican, Independent, whatever. But, you know, I think you should be able to just vote on the person that you want, not not the party that you want. Because, you know, if there's somebody, somebody one year might be in the Democratic Party I like, and then one year there might be somebody in the Republican Party I like. Well, you know, if... if the person that I want to vote for is in the Republican Party, then I'll vote Republican. If somebody's in the Democratic Party I like, then I'll vote Democrat. I don't I don't like to have to be made to choose which party you you want to vote for. There you go, Rosa. Uh, it it should be for the person, not the not the party. But I'm looking at my screen here, and it's got Donald Trump, uh, Chris Christie, Republican Party for the um, trending. Um, uh, Anheuser Bush InBev. Uh, I don't know if you know, but. Um, Anheuser Busch in St. Louis, they they were owned by the uh, Bush family for years, and and then they um, sold the company to um, InBev. Uh, it's a, a foreign company, I think. It's German, if I believe. I'm not sure about that, but they sold the the company, uh, and. Um, They've owned it for a while. Let me see if I can't find uh, what that uh, an article on that. What's going on with Anheuser Busch? Uh, 
I don't really follow politics. I care what Trump's doing or or Clinton or any others. You know, I'll make up my mind when it's time to vote. Uh, one thing, I'm not voting for Trump. That's that's just some of the things he's said is just crazy, and I don't. Uh, have said to win U.S. antitrust approval for Saab Miller. Oh, okay. I guess uh, I guess they're looking to buy another another uh, brewery uh, Justice Department on $100 million Anheuser-Busch Saab Miller merger. Uh, okay, so uh, InBev's buying another brewery. Saab Miller. Okay. So that's what that was. Let's go back here and see what's, uh, if there's anything else interesting. Uh, Voting Act Rights of 1965, Texas. Ah, St. Louis Cardinals, San Diego. Mike Leakes, what's, what's that about? That, that's number 24 in the... Uh, Trending list. So, uh, tell you what, I'll show you again and we'll um, take a look at that. So that's loading uh, if you're in the sports. Uh, Cardinals throw arm at bullpen. Continue to look at options via trade. Padres Cardinals postpone doubleheader Wednesday. Uh, let's see what happened with that. Why was it postponed? Let's see. And, and again, and we're just sitting watching a spinning wheel. Here we go. The San Diego Union Tribune. And I guess they got a lot of stuff on their page because it's it's taking its own sweet time to load up. Let's see. San Diego Union Tribune News, Sports, Business. A&E, lifestyle, military, opinion, videos, obits, uh, deals and classifieds, jobs, homes, and cars. Okay. And as you can see, it's loading slowly. So... See if we can. No, no comma. Con badge, no problem. Uh, let's see. This was put up by uh, 7 p. 7.23 p.m. July 19th, yesterday.
So well, we might get to see this article at some point. But I don't know. Just so much going on on this page. Uh, Oh, was postponed by weather and rescheduled as part of a double header on Wednesday. Postponed game will be made up Wednesday at 11.15 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time with a 5.15 contest to follow. So, I guess they're playing a double header today. Hmm. Unless that got rained out. I don't know what the weather is in St. Louis. But um, that's what that was. So if you're in St. Louis, uh, you might hope you might have went to the game. It's been a while since I've been to a Cardinals game. Been living here in Arkansas since uh, 94. So I don't... Uh, get to see many games anymore. Um, I still have family. Um, well, my wife has family that live in Illinois now. Uh, my mom just moved to Florida, so uh, she is wild. To, it's worked out. Well, it's uh, about 3.48, going on 3.48, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I think we'll uh, give it a close here, and um, if you like my channel, please subscribe, and if you like my videos, uh Give my videos a thumbs up and uh, tell all your friends about my uh, channel and uh, check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. And I will be back next week for another show, Wednesday Live. The, ch the time might change next Wednesday. Uh, I'm hoping to have a uh, guest on and uh, to uh, accommodate his schedule. We might uh, change the time. It might be an hour earlier. So keep watching for that. And um, I will keep you informed if that happens. Um, we're still working out the logistics of it all, but uh, I might have a guest on next week. Hopefully. And, um, hey, if you want to be a uh, guest on the show, just let me know. And um, I get set up about an hour before showtime, and I'll send you the, the link to, to join the show here. So if you have a topic you want to discuss or um, uh, uh, you want to promote your website, uh, video you've got going on, anything like that, hey, just uh, let me know, and I'll be glad to have you on. Uh, no problem. Um, this has kind of been an open forum uh, since I haven't had a, a guest on in the last few weeks. Where I've just been kind of um, having a, an open live discussion with uh, the audience here, so... Uh, We'll continue that, or if we get some guests on that have a specific to topic that they want to talk about, uh, we'll do that as well. But um, till next week, everybody, take care, be safe. We'll see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.